Hey everyone. So, um, I just wanted to get on here um, and let you listen to my dogs bark. <laughs> no, not really. Um, I wanted to say thank you for all of the new followers to my channel and for all of my followers that have stayed with me um, through this year. Um, I know I I know I've been on YouTube for a year now and so you know I'm looking forward to bringing you a lot more content um, just the, the, just the, the every Wednesday's posts for sure but you know some posts here and there but for the most part um, this video um, I wanted to say um, thank you um, I wanted to say thank you for um, everybody that's been that has stuck with me. Um, I am having fun watching everyone's channels and um, just I, I love the camaraderie of this community, of this crafting community. I really, really do. And that means so much. And, you know, yes, I live vicariously through you guys when you do your shopping hauls and stuff like that. You know, I get excited to see all the pretty yarns that you guys get to um, grab that's, you know, on sales and things like that and, you know, try new things. Um, to me, that's amazing. And, you know... Yeah, one of my dreams one day is to get my hands on some of those pretty yarns that I've never tried before. Um, I'm I'm really super excited, and I'll and I'll do a short video for it. Um, and I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos. I am waiting on a crochet book that's coming in. That is from. Oh, please, please, please. I am so sorry if I butcher this, but it's from Sixel Designs. And um, I follow her channel as well. And it's, um, she does mosaic crochet. And just the stuff that she has shown on her, on her channel and stuff has really helped me, um, know exactly like what kind of yarns would be really good for these projects and which ones would be mm, not so good um she does a lot more of a, a goth design so that may not be for everybody um there's also another book i'm looking at that is also mosaic and i can't wait to um uh, get a hold of that one I think that one probably will be next month's purchase um, so in between collecting <laughs> um, collecting yarn and uh, collecting patterns I also collect books for the crochet and knit and stuff now the next video that I will be showing is um, knitting an eye cord. So, also I, I have sat down and I also showed how to, uh, crochet an eye cord as well. The, the way I do it. Because there's, there's two methods that I know of. One of them I still, I struggle with so hard. And so the other one I thought to me looked so much easier. And for me being left-handed, it worked out to me, it worked out a little better. So, um, and, and I, and I do explain that on the, the video of, and I do show you my, my foo paws of the two cords the one cord that I, I just like whip along and then the other one I show you my struggle 
And so I don't want anybody thinking that, you know, because, you know, just because I've been crocheting for over, over 30 years does not mean that I am proficient at everything. I'm not, and I'll be the first one to admit that. So for me, you know, I, I look at it as if I show you my, if I show you my, um, mistakes and I show you my wins, that might help you. That might help you with your confidence. Because like I said, every crocheter, okay, so every crocheter has like something that they're super good at. And then there's, um, you know, and then there's things that you just, you really need to practice more on. You need to get more, you know, you just, it's practice makes perfect. Um, the one way that I do the I chord that I struggle with the other one, I have, I have sat down and sat down and sat down. I even did it last night. I, I was like, you know what? Let me keep trying. And I do. Every once in a while, I'll just walk away. If something is aggravating to me, I'll walk away. I'll, I'll just clear my mind. And then I'll try later. And I have found that if I come back later and, and stuff, then I'm more willing to more more apt to succeed and so even though I suck at the the one the one method still I'm still in my mind it's a success because I'm coming back I'm I'm not giving up I'm like you know what no I'm not gonna let this uh, beat me and so um, uh, keep keep that in mind. Um, I know I'm not wearing my glasses. My psoriasis on my eyes is really bad, so it hurts to put my glasses on. Um, I, I, I do wear my glasses when I crochet, but I'm just trying to give my eyes a break. So, just in case you're wondering about that. So, so anyway, um, I, I just want you guys to, to know that it is, it is okay to put things down, try again later, but I'm going to always say, don't give up. There's a big truck coming. I'm sitting outside with my dog, so hold on a second. Luckily, he wasn't using his Jake brakes, so. <laughs> um, but with... Um, it's, it's just, it's so nice and comfy outside and I got two really fluffy dogs, you know, I got a Pomeranian and uh, my, uh, Miss Karma, <laughs> she's my, my mixed pup, but you know, with long hair, it gets hot and so I'm, I'm letting them be outside and just letting them just relax and do their thing. Um, but so anyway, I just wanted to say you know even if like even if you're knitting because right now I'm still teaching myself to knit oh gosh I'm gonna hiccup I don't know why I've been doing this a lot lately <laughs> but anyway um, give yourself time don't stress out it's not like it's life or death if you don't get a stitch right away you know what I mean it's not like you know everything's writing on it you're starting out you're new you're learning and even if you're later and 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 stuff you're 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 more advanced you're not a beginner but you still like there's a couple of stitches they you know really flip you off don't give up because then it's, it's like, what more are you learning? You know, I always say, just keep learning, keep learning things. Um, that's why I'm teaching myself today. I am in a small community, so I actually don't have anybody here that could teach me how to knit. Um, 
and I don't know any friends um, nearby that know how to knit. So that's why I am, I, I do watch tutorials, I do read the books, I want to learn the terminology because, you know, um, I taught myself how to read crochet patterns. And then I sat there and I thought, well, there's got to be a police officer in town for them to be driving this slow. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, you know, I thought if I can learn, if I can teach myself the terminology in crochet, then I can teach myself terminology for the knitting because there are several patterns. Here's a Jake break. Okay, so there's several patterns that that I I like to I would like to get to be able to do that's in knitting. Um, I have not stopped trying to teach myself the needle binding. I, um, as well, which is another uh, yarn project that I do. Now, that one is getting me a lot more stumped. I, for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, I would need to sit down with somebody that does it for them to show me what I'm doing wrong and how I can make it better. So, like, even if I did, like, a video call or something like that with somebody, that would work for me, I would think. Um, just so that I'm like, uh, oh, okay, okay, I see where, okay. Point out what I'm doing wrong. So... Um, I thought about looking into that and seeing if I can't find somebody like in my state that that does do that that could show me um, so so I have been looking around in groups and stuff for that as well um, as far as you know like other projects and stuff that I do um, I have I have a, a couple of things that I'll be starting soon. I finished I finished that gray sweater that I was making and got that put together. Um, I'm making a metallic shawl and I got okay. I'm outside so this looks different. But this is a lavender. And it's um, definitely, did I even grab the hook? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, it's, it's a lavender and it's shiny. And it's wool in it and stuff. And I have to make sure my nails are filed so there's like no snags or nothing like that that could get on this yarn. Because this is the most snaggiest yarn but it's so beautiful and I can't handle 100% wool up against me so I'm glad this is not 100% wool it's not scratchy it's like super soft with with the way my skin is it's just not it's not feasible for me to to put more irritants on my skin um, so anyway I just wanted to really I wanted to come on here and say thank you for all my new followers thank you for oh yay I get to swallow my hair thank you for all of my followers that have stayed with me and stuff and all the friendships that I have made uh, through YouTube it it does mean a lot it it, it really does it's like I really I really I, I'm trying not to be emotional <laughs> sorry I really feel like I have a, communi a community here and people that care and that are excited to share with each other their work and their trip ups and you know to 
to teach and stuff. Because I even watch, I even watch some cooking uh, stuff. Oh, sorry. Um, I, I, I watch some cooking stuff and uh, one of my favorites is Misty's Pleasures of Life. That, that woman can cook and she reminds me of, you know, one of my best friends that showed me how to take care of cast iron skillet. I actually own a cast iron. I actually own a cup, had owned a couple, but um, the, I, I do own one cast iron now and you know, I, 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 I learned some new recipes and how to cook with it and everything and it's just it's it's amazing now because I'm on a met the Mediterranean uh, I don't want to say diet it's a change of lifestyle um, I'm I'm because I'm doing that for my health um, there's there's certain things that I have to tweak the recipes and stuff and um, it's it's easy to do that now I'm gonna I'll be the first one to tell you <laughs> sorry um, I want I just want to let everybody know I really appreciate everything that you guys do I, I appreciate for everybody that watches my videos even if you're not just subscribed to my channel I appreciate you for the people that are subscribed to me and watch me I appreciate you you know I'm I'm not doing this for monetary gains or anything like that I'm just doing this um, I started this for mental health and stuff so that I could, um, so I'd feel like I'm, I'm doing something, like I'm actively doing something, um, like a job or something, you know, because I, because I cannot work anymore. It, it, I, I always say I don't like crochet to feel like a job. And sometimes it does, <laughs> but I also get excited about getting near uh, finished with a project. I get I like getting excited about starting a project. So, yeah, um, anyway, sorry, I'm just I'm really trying not to cry. I don't know why. Just, maybe today is just emotional or something. I don't know. But, so anyway, I will um, let you guys go. Um, this was supposed to be a thank you video. And, a, and for all the new people to just be like, don't give up trying new things. Don't, don't give up. Just don't give up yet. You'll get it. And I, and I have faith that you'll get it. So, with that being said... I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Today is Sunday. It is amazingly beautiful outside. It's not hot. It's nice with the breeze. It's it's like fall, you know? And I like it. <laughs> so, anyway. I'll talk to you all later.